Hello, cohort A and B parents and families. So I'm Mr. Gonzalez, if you haven't uh, met me yet, and I have your child for sixth grade science, and I'm either seeing them on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, or Fridays. The two days they come to school, they spend one whole day in class with me, so they don't mix with the other cohort of kids, and then the next day they spend the day in class with Miss Berg. So I focus most of the day on science and give them some time for math, and Miss Berg focuses most of the day on English language arts and social studies and some time for math. So when kids are working at home Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, or Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, uh, they know what to do and they can ask better questions if they need help. Now, Mr. Brennan, who's teaching math, he's available to meet when kids are at home Thursdays and Fridays or Mondays and Tuesdays at 10 a.m. through uh, Google Meet, mostly. Now, by now you should see this uh, for your kids because this is where they go to first to do their science work. And I want to show it to you because it, if it looks like a game, it's game-like, but it's not a game. What they're doing is they're using these game-like features to do science and keep track of all their science work while having some fun along the way. So when kids are here, they can go to messaging to send me a message and you can see this is where they uh, communicate with me if they need help when they're at home. But mostly they're going to go right here to quests and this circle here is the quest we started last week, the Starship Equinox. And this is one that kids are going to be finishing this week so they can start the next one that will also be coming out uh, this week. So this is a great program because what it does is it allows kids to work on their assignments uh, in, in increments. They don't see them all at once like on Google Classroom. They see them one or two at a time. So kids who go here to personality types uh, will see a video of what they need to do, then they'll do it, and then they'll go to task and mark it complete when they actually did it, uh, which right now I marked that one complete, but check it out. The task was to share in the discussion section of this quest. So it's really easy for kids to complete the task before they actually do it. But in this case, no big deal. I just go to discussion and then I do it. So we can see this student here already did it and then I'll do it by saying I got an R architect. And it could be as simple as that. Uh, but they're also practicing how to reply to each other so they can still communicate when they're at home uh, and not be just all alone. Now that that one's done, see they have two choices of where to go here. And don't worry, I put videos on here uh, to help them in case they forgot what I told them in class. So that's a video from me because, you know, it's a long day, a lot of instruction. Now some of these assignments in a quest will attach, like this one's a Flipgrid one, so I can uh, have your kids introduce themselves to me without a mask safely at home. When they go to assignment, look at that, it opens it up in Google Classroom. So now they know what order to do things in Google Classroom because Classcraft has that built in. Once they record their Flipgrid video on Google Classroom, they mark their assignment as done. Then they go back to Classcraft and they're going to need to click back in so that when they go to task, it shows them the task complete button. And that will take them to the next assignment. It, it's a great system. And this assignment, which many of your children already did, was to have you sign up for Blooms with the Blooms codes we sent for Miss Berg, Mr. Brennan, and myself. And then once you do that, and we know we've got communication lines open up between home and school, your child can complete that. And by completing these things, they do get uh, what's called experience points and gold to make doing their work exciting and, and game-like, which is what I love about Classcraft. We get our work done efficiently and effectively, we communicate, and they have some fun while at their schoolwork. 
and it allows me to mix in the science fiction and fantasy that I use to get kids thinking about the future and how things could be, because that's how the best inventions get created. Um, so my next video is going to tell you a little bit about blooms, just so you make sure you get all the features, but I hope this helps you uh, make sure your child is on task and doing their work this week. And message me on blooms if you have any questions.